Oh, you. Thank you, Zen. <laughs> Appreciate that. And thank you, everybody. Uh, I am happy by three. This is Turnip Boy Rob's a Bank. Um, I am joined on stage by uh, Eldritch Wolfie, uh, another runner of this game who you may remember from running Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion two years ago at SGDQ. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm also joined by one of my closest friends, JPEG. It me. Hello. And we are super lucky to have uh, joining us online and uh, using Turnip Boy's plushy body as a conduit, we have the developer Carson. <laughs> Hello. Nice to be here. Yeah. So uh, we got a lot of bank robbing to do, so I figured we should just get right into it and uh, we can start talking to you uh, when we get in there. Time starts when I click let's go. So we will get started in three, two, one, let's go. All right. Salute toast for good RNG. All right. All right so <laughs> this takes place two days after the events of Turnip Boy commits tax evasion. Supposedly there was a civil war in between that game and this game, but it only lasted a day. Time moves quick when you're a vegetable. Uh, so in this first section, we're going to start out with a tutorial, basically. Uh, Dilatini, the leader of the Pickle Mafia, gives us a call, and it's a classic heist story. He says, you know, I've, I've got a job, and it's going to be the last job you'll ever need. So... Uh, he wants us to help him run a heist, but first he has to teach us how to rob banks. So we're going to shake people down for cash. <laughs> we can have multiple <laughs> weapons. And because it's a turnip boy game, the fastest way to move is by tripping. And we can trip through lasers. That's the whole tutorial, usually over and under a minute. And then we get into the bank. Um... So yeah, this is our first section of the bank. Um, this is one of our first big reset points because this is a roguelite and RNG is great. Um, and so in a PB run, uh, if I saw this gray door, I would probably just reset. There are gray doors and gold doors that can spawn on these elevators during this first section. And we are looking for a specific gold door to get the fastest possible time. And already the RNG absurdity has started. Uh, oh. So normally there are three places those pedestals, like this one, can spawn. And each of those gives us $100. And ideally we'll get three of them to get in and out as fast as possible. We only got one. So RNG's doing what RNG does. Mm -hmm. um, but while I go back and do one more run, Jay or Eldritch, do one of y'all want to talk about kind of the pedestals and why we focus on those so much? Uh, yeah, so the pedestal items... Like Happy said, we can shake down the vegetables within the bank. However, the pedestal items are worth significantly more and do not go into the uh, bag that we have. Uh, you can see underneath is items there, which are below the health. I'm just going to try There's, those. Yep. Wrong one. Th there is a number there that is value. That does have a limit to it. So that can only go up to 1,000 without upgrades. And the items that we pick up from pedestals do not go oh into God. that amount. They go into what we, our total amount after we've left the bank again. You were having the worst RNG right worst now. Worst RNG. And we knew this was going to happen. Yeah, right? we did. You PB'd during practice. Yeah. PB, PB'd by nearly a minute in the mm -hmm. practice room. And we minute. were all like, well, there goes the good RNG. We <laughs> uh, already had the blessing for the So yep. in PB runs, we should be able to get this first progression item by only going to the bank once here. Uh, normally two is safe, but because it's a marathon and we're getting marathon luck, it's going to take us three trips to Let's the bank. Let's go! So, Woo! Uh, but this first progression item is a pickaxe, and that is sort of the core loop of the game, is you go to an area, you get a progression item, you use the progression item to unlock the next area, and then that lets you fight a boss. The boss gives you a key card to go to the next place, get a progression item, fight the boss, rinse and repeat. Uh, and in this first area, we're trying to find a pickaxe so we can break down the statues of Stinky, the owner of the bank. All right, uh, is the pedestal there? Great. So this is the room we wanted to get the first time um, because the pedestals in this area are only worth 100, and we're looking for 1,500. Oh, I'm a little low health. Let's be safe. Um, we're looking for 1,500 to get the pickaxe, and um, that pedestal is worth 1,000. Uh, I don't know why, but good news. Carson, why is that pedestal worth 1,000? Um, well, let me tell you. Um, I actually don't know. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> um, for a few pedestals, they're uh, between uh, bronze and silver. Uh, and that's just one that, if you're in a bronze room, it happens to be silver. Huh. Uh, I think it's just a higher chance because of the way that room is set up. Fair enough. Well, it has made one try pickaxe possible <laughs> and also made the first split a very bad It made the run. Play. So thank you and also, come on. <laughs> um, I'm going to go get a safety upgrade real quick while I've got time. Um, so I grabbed uh, the C4 there, also from the dark web. Uh, we don't need that till much later, but it's easy to forget. So since I had a little extra money, I figured I'd just grab it while I'm thinking about it. Um, when do y'all want to talk about the dark web? <laughs> oh, that's a really good question. And I wish I had the answer for you, other than the fact that that is where you buy your items from. And it has very, very, very normal prices for items. Very normal prices. Absolutely oh, normal. Yeah. Totally normal. Mo most things you would buy there are the, the market price. Mm -hmm. they're, yeah. they're, it's called a black market just because, well. It's just because Gregory runs it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only reason. Uh, so we are on to our first boss fight, Sergeant Yeehaw. Um, and this is pretty straightforward for the rest of the fight. We just wait for him to come out, and then I use skills gained from maining Zarya and Overwatch to hold my cursor over him. <laughs> and then uh, hopefully he dies. So, Zen, we've probably got like two donations real quick during this phase. All righty, here is $50 from Needlekind. It felt fitting with the cactus. Uh, <laughs> they said, good luck robbing that bank, turn up boy. And I also have a $25 donation here from Lazy Princess XO that says a Turnip Boy run and the possibility to get a Turnip Boy plushie. Sign me up! A Turnip Boy plushie that has been uh, infested by the spirit of a developer. Mm -hmm. It's true. You can't it's get true. That you can see me there. Yeah. Carson's right <laughs> over there. Um, so we got the mozzarella sniper from good that go. by RNG, which is exactly what we want. And then in. In this area, there are four possible pedestals, and we got three so far, so this is going really well. Um, that boss can drop one of two items, either the mozzarella sniper or the toast gatling. Um, the toast gatling is worse because it is harder to one cycle the next boss. Um, mm -hmm. Sniper is basically a guaranteed one cycle, no matter what. Um, so now at this point, as we're going to get our pr second progression item, which is a cardboard box, which costs a perfectly reasonable $8,000. This is what we said about the dark web. Yeah. Yeah, you know, where else are you going to get a cardboard <laughs> it, box? In this economy? Yeah. Um, that's market value. That's market value, baby. Uh, oh, so the bosses respawn after you kill them. So when we go through there, uh, he looks at us and is like, look, contractually, I only have to fight you once. But if you want to go, we can go. <laughs> uh, so as we go through this area, we're just trying to get 8,000 from these pedestals. Oh, bad luck. Only got one there. Uh, and we are also looking for a scythe. Um, Y'all want to talk about why the scythe is ridiculous? Yeah. So the scythe uh, introduces a mechanic into the game along with a, another weapon that's the disc launcher, I think. I don't actually remember the name of the weapon. I call it disc launcher. It's fine. Um, it fires vinyls. That's okay. <laughs> Yeah. It, um, it's a soul sampler. Yeah, soul sampler. Yes, because it shoots records and it's from DJ's system. Yeah. It yeah. is. I yes, should remember is. that. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so it introduces a mechanic underneath, er, near the money value. Uh, once we get it, we will be collecting souls. Uh, and every time we get these souls, it increases the damage value of the weapons uh, from that particular area mm -hmm. by a certain amount. Uh, I don't think we ever mapped out exactly what the value is per soul, but... Uh, if we get around 80s, low 70s, around 80, something like that, uh, souls before fighting the next boss, we can one cycle it with just the scythe. Uh, yeah. We do not ever spend yes. the souls. Very we nice. just use scythe them to get. Bust the, buff the scythe. This is our boy DJ Sizzle. Gives us scythe. Shout out to DJ Sizzle. Good homie. Shout out. Um, yeah, so once the scythe gets up to 100 souls, it's busted. I we can basically, <laughs> like, when we do the boss rush at the end of the game, the bosses kind of become negligible mm -hmm. because we have Scythe. I believe the damage value is like 30 when fully upgraded with the 32. buffs. 32.5 with 5. buffs, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah for it gets context, quite crazy. the starting pistol is like two. Yeah. Cardboard <laughs> box, and let's grab some upgrades. Um, upgrade routing in this game is basically, oh, you have money? It's when Get you some have upgrades, upgrade I guess. Money. Yep. Yeah. You think we yeah, got upgrade money? Yeah, I was curious. We have upgrade money. <laughs> uh, we do. If I remember correctly, we do uh, focus on the trip distance one because yes. uh, 
At base value, trip isn't actually faster, but then once you upgrade it once, it becomes significantly faster. Yeah, and there's three levels of upgrades. So by the time it's fully upgraded, it's just absurd. You go so fast. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, it's also very good for us to get the scythe before this boss because you're going to see a type of enemy right here, these little bouncy boys, who um, when you hit them, they split into multiples, and each of the multiples drops souls. So it is a very fast way to get the scythe loaded up to eat a bunch of those. Like, I have 40 souls already. Happy went from 7 to 41. Yeah. With just yeah. three oh enemies. My. <laughs> This is our second boss, the Candy Apple. Uh, there is speed tech in this boss, but we're not going to do it till the boss rush. And also, it doesn't actually save time. Um, but we're not going to do it for now because it makes some of the adds despawn. And we actually want all the adds to spawn because we're going to farm them for souls so that our scythe is stronger. Mm. Is this what y'all expected to be seeing, by the way? Is any of this <laughs> what you anticipated? <laughs> Uh, someone out there is, is happy about it. Yeah. yeah this is perfect. Thank you. Someone out there is like, I wanted to see a candy apple smushing down on a Friday night. Mm -hmm. It's a Monday morning. It's a Friday night in your heart, and that's nice. what matters. Okay. I was a little scared about the one cycle there because you can only afford to miss like two shots with the sniper. And one of my shots hit the bird, and so I got a little scared. Oh, cool. But we're good. Everything's great. Mm. All right, so now we are in the dark dock, the area where I can't see. Um, and so I'm going to lean forward a little bit. And Everybody lean forward, lend half try your not power. To, try not to die. Uh, we do have a safety strat through here. Hopefully I'll get all four pedestals and we can just do the safety strat. Um, there's an item called Goop Boots that makes you not take damage from Goop. I know, shocking. Um, makes you not get damaged by Goop, uh, but it is a little slow to get it. And so I got three pedestals, which is actually like the worst possible option <laughs> because now I have to make a decision between coming back here for the fast um, uh, food folk separator because I do have enough for the next progression item or being safe and going to get the goop boots. And I think I'm going to be safe. I'm in fact going to be extra safe and not walk through the goop for the rest of this area because death is very unforgiving in this game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what all do we lose when we die, Wolfie? Uh, it is half of the money that you have as the liquid amount, and I believe all of the hard value items, so the pedestal items. Yep. All your pedestal items, half of your money, and you lose your, we your weapons. And if we lose Soul Sight, it is then a... a it's not a 50-50, but it is a random chance to one, find DJ Sizzle again, and then we have to pay, I believe it's 100 per roll to try to get the scythe, which I swear has a lower chance of spawning. Than yeah, <laughs> this is our first question I wanted to ask Carson. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah. Is there a lower chance of the scythe spawning from that raffle? Because the other day no. in practice, I got eight of the other one in a row. So it is 50-50? It is genuinely 50-50. Okay. What? I promise you. God, I promise. That means for you. Sure don't feel like it. <laughs> it does not feel like it because going multiple like eight times in a row is not that uncommon for us. Oh, yeah. Uh, so this is a quick safety return to grab the goop boots, and now I'm just going to be running to go fight our next boss. So until I get there, Zen, if you want to toss some stuff at us. Absolutely. This is the Valiant Sun with a $25 donation that says, do we think that the sequel doesn't have anything in common because evading taxes doesn't prepare you for robbing a bank? Mm. Anyways, so, mm. so hyped to see Happy Unless showing off this run. Shout out from Tech. Hi, Tech. Hi, Tech. We love you. Hi, Tech. Yeah. <laughs> I got $30 here from uh, previous runner Quacksilver. Woo! They said $5 Woo! to pay ah. my debt for the Lone Fungus run, 25 to support the absolute speedrunning legend, Happy oh, by Three. Yeah. Good luck, Happy. Excited to see Marathon Luck punish you for your hubris with the ridiculous PB this morning. <laughs> Less than three. What else? So oh, this wow. was earned. Hard. All right, so we are on to our third boss, Mecha Chad. His first cycle is a little scary because he will attack and then run away. And so sometimes we'll just switch to Sniper to take care of it. His second wow. and third phase is usually completely free. Uh, he tries to distract us after each phase by playing a slime video in the bottom third of the screen. Um, yep. And Carson, I noticed when we were doing some decompiling and you know looking at this game that... Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Illegal behavior. 
those are not okay, illegal behavior. That illegal behavior that you explicitly told us we can do in the Discord. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I noticed that this is not a video file, but rather like one thousand image files. Can you walk me through the um, process there? <laughs> uh, so the reason is Game Maker. Um, oh, interesting. This game is made in Game Maker, and uh, that was really just the easiest way for us because uh, they don't let you stream multiple videos at once. Oh. And we wanted the top and the bottom video to play. That's so interesting. That's such a better yeah. answer. That, like, when we looked at it, we were just like, is this just memeing? Are they just being the way they are? We, we thought you were being funny, actually. <laughs> it's a little bit of both. It's a little bit of both. It is perfect. Shout did you Super consider? Did you consider that adding that would not, in fact, distract the player, but simply make Gen Z players better? <laughs> mm. See, that's something we hadn't considered, but we've realized that it's it's actually very possible. All right, that's my boy Kaladin. Uh, that's not his name, but you know. Shout out to now. Brandon Sanderson. <laughs> Why is it Kaladin? Um, because he sells us a bridge. He's a bridge boy. There's see, there's someone it. on stream right now who got that and is so excited. And, and, they're, and they're dying. Yeah. They're loving it. <laughs> Eating it up. All right. So we're going to go buy the bridge or the thing to build bridges with. And then we're going to get some upgrades because we have lots of money. Let's get some of those and some of these and some of these and <laughs> done. <laughs> Thank you for the SpongeBob reference, mid -run. We appreciate Have it. Help. True icon. All right, as you can see, our trip is significantly farther now that we've gotten trip distance upgraded. It's mm -hmm. a little ridiculous. It's a little bit of a yeet now. Yeah. I am saying out loud, I need to get a pedestal for crowbar money. I do not have crowbar money at home. <laughs> Mostly because you just spent it on upgrades, but that's not important Correct. right now. All right, so we are on to our next boss. Um, a little bit of a scary point, a little bit of a reset point in the run. Um, you know, fourth boss out of four, obviously, is going to be a little spooky. Um, so hopefully everything goes all right. And really quick, we do have one side quest we need to do. This is the vampire pomegranate. Uh, he's lonely because he thought brooding would get him a girlfriend. But sadly, no one was interested. But we know someone who might be interested. So he gives mm -hmm. us a love letter. And uh, that's a special tool we'll save for later. Mm -hmm. Now we're headed over to boss fight. Um, what do you think the boss is going to be, everybody? What do you think? All right. This boss fight's a little scary. Um, so a terrifying boss fight. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and stand in this corner and hold mouse. And Zen, if you want to do some donations until this guy dies, feel free. Anything to look away from it. Um, this is $5 from Osborne. It says, is that my Multithon founder that I'm seeing robbing a bank live on the GDQ stage? I want to thank Happy by 3 for helping me channel my crafts of the speedrunning community into projects and causes that mean the world to me. I wouldn't trade it for the world, and I can't wait to work more with you in the future. Without you, I don't know what I'd be doing or where I'd be. Good luck and have fun and never stop being you, your friend, Oz. Aww. I love you, Oz. You're the best. Um, all proceeds from robbing banks will be donated directly to... Uh, charity events throughout the year. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, that is our fourth boss. That fight was at one point scary, I swear. And then we realized, again, fully upgraded scythe is just absurd. Um, so the really scary parts of that boss's attack cycle don't happen. And here's the sweet boy we donated for. Yay! That's oh, Tangerine. Yes. He will be joining us for the rest of the game. Mm -hmm. um, every time we pet him, he comes and joins us on our there journey, along with this little floating uh, bag of milk. Oh, yep. My uh, best friend. Carson, you want to walk us through <laughs> how the bagged milk ended up here? <laughs> so, so I'm from Canada. Okay. Um, okay. And we have, wow, we we have Canada. Canada -like Thank you. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Love that. Um, so we have bagged milk. We, we sell it in the bag. And that, I've, I've kind of made it my brand, <laughs> so to speak. So I, I knew we had to have some sort of representation in the game. Fair enough. Uh, in this sewer section, we grab the big sword that we get from Rigsby. Um, we actually move very slowly when we're holding the sword, but luckily it's Counter-Strike rules. So you don't move based on your inventory. You move based on what you're holding. Cool. So we can just hold the small item and move fast and then swap to the big item for the fight. Which is, and that's a big item. Is, I think, <laughs> the biggest and the slowest. 
Yeah, it's not often in a speed run that you're like, so we're going to pick up the slowest item in the game real quick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, make well, sure I have 200. Uh, we also need this for a quick side quest. And I have enough money to take the train. Now we're going to blow this up. The golden bathtub full of money is probably my favorite detail. I like the beat with pearl earring art that was in that room for a Oh, second. yes, a classic. The right. beat with the pearl earring. We found our dad's stuff. Dang. 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 It's my favorite <laughs> button in the game. It's so funny. <laughs> what, a, what a reaction to like, mm -hmm. wow, this big Dang. reveal about the death of my father. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> All right, so now we're headed back through the sewers um, to go back and I'll explain what we're buying when we get there. You got one or two donations then? Oh boy, do I? <laughs> Here's $25 from Zach Smith that says happy by three is my homie. Love you, pal. Go rob Aww. that gosh, gosh darn bank, you lovely little turnip. <laughs> Love you too, bud. <laughs> Zach's great. I also had a $250 donation Jeez. from Yan C. Dang, I think is what you mean. Wow. Dang. 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 <laughs> they said, dear bank, here is all my savings to stash in your ultra secure safe. Surely no one, especially thieving vegetables, would be able to steal that money, right? I emoji. Um, so we're going to grab these jet boosters real quick because we've basically come to the conclusion that if we can't beat them, steal the whole bank. You uh, pet the dog. Mm -hmm. Oh, good call. You didn't pet the dog. Don't Owl. worry, we'll go back. We'll go back. Done this. Uh, you need to re. We stole nothing. Right? You need to re pet the dog for him to join us on each trip. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we're going to go grab our friend again. Hi, pet I love you. Boy, pet You're beautiful. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do y'all like dogs? Is that what I'm hearing behind me? Y'all dog fans? Y'all hear about this? Y'all hear, hear about this dogs? Shiba who plays baseball? Yeah. <gasps> there might be there might be something like that happening. Maybe. Uh, so we're back on boss rush mode now. Uh, we have to go back, defeat each boss, because the bosses live in the four corners of the bank, and we need to... Um, plant a rocket booster in each of those corners so that, sorry, but um, we need to plant okay. a rocket booster in each corner so that the uh, bank can be sent into space so that we can steal it. It's, I mean, it, it's... It makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Just don't think about it's, it too hard. Have you? <laughs> too hard about it. Yeah. It's, don't. It's not the most well thought out plan, but it sure is a plan. I mean, it's, it's not... It's Boy's plan. Mm -hmm. It's a plan of all time. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? What is this? <laughs> what is? Wait, what oh, oh. I can't believe I get to say it, but this has never happened before. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Uh, uh, it seemed like the soul uh, triggered pickup, but we have a hundred, so it had nowhere to go. <laughs> so it was just oh. like. It was like, oh god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, and we're doing the same thing this time on Rigsby. So uh, Zen, if you got one or two. Yes, thank you. Again, don't want to look at that. Anyways, $15 <laughs> from Caligi Jack that says, I got an idea for a Turnip Boy title. I call it Turnip Boy Creates a Pyramid Scheme. We should start donation train of ideas for future Turnip Boy name ideas. That's dangerous. That's Do it. I like it. Do That's it. That's a good train. We got time for like one that. more. Absolutely. $13.64 here from MASH that said less than three. Love yeah. you, happy by three. Good luck on the run. Bring in them big dollars. Also, couch, stay cute. Thank you and resume the robbing. Cute couch. Okay, so we can leave the room right after this um, bridge builds, but if you run over to the door, that text box doesn't happen right away, and it is possible to leave before the bridge is actually done and just sort of stand there twiddling your thumbs for a little bit. Uh, so that's why we take an extra second to stand there. I'm going to go up and check this door because I'm looking for a specific kind of door now for that very important side quest. Mm -hmm. um, but for now, let's go deal with Chad. I don't love having three hearts going into Chad, but luckily phase two and three of Chad are basically free. It's just this first phase is scary. Yeah, so we should be good now. You know, knock on wood and don't... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't threaten the game with a good time. Yes. Um, I'm not fully sure why it works. Maybe Carson knows. But uh, basically, on phase two and three of Chad, if we just land kind of in front of him and then run back and forth, he just sort of follows us but never attacks. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. You zig and zag on him, and he just kind of. That's pans. honestly probably just because he never like lands on you, like the like fake aim reticle never stops on you fully. Uh, he's mm. Yeah, he just you just zag on him. <laughs> That's actually good. That's good tech. <laughs> I was like, please don't say good to know. Please don't change that. No, no, no. Don't fix it. Don't fix it. <laughs> I'm fine. There's only so much I can fix without <laughs> destroying runs. Yeah. 
We appreciate you. Yes. Um, I'm going to go <laughs> this way. It's a little slower, but it takes me past two doors that might be the door I'm looking for. So go in this way. Come on, give me the right door. Give me the right door. You're so mean. Mm -hmm. How hard would it be to be cool? <laughs> yeah, what if you could just be cool? Have you even considered being cool? I don't think. All right, so this is the one boss fight that looks a little different late game. Um, like I said, we do have that one little bit of tech. We're going to go down here and scroll the screen down. When we do this, ads on the top half of the screen just don't spawn. No yep. way. Yes. Uh, <laughs> that was discovered by yep. Rar. Hi, friends. Who is, he's still the world record holder, right? Yes, Rar yeah. still has record with an absurd, like, 2034 or something. Wow. Uh, for context, my PB you? this morning was 2248. Yeah. And that's second place. Rar is, Rar wow. is Amazing. incredible at this game. <laughs> that is crazy. You did not get the milk. Crazy bag. good find, too. Yeah, I have no idea how we found that, but it's... You picked up the eight, yeah. Yeah, that happens sometimes where the weapon drops near where you need to press E to uh, also open the door. Um, and so now, normally, we would go and start the final boss, but you may notice that we are at 25 minutes of a 40-minute estimate. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Rather than reducing the estimate after realizing that we can reliably play this faster, uh, Games Committee told us we can do a very valuable side quest. So we're going to go do a side quest real quick. This is the door There's we're looking door. for. Oh! <coughs> uh, Excellent. And so this is our friend Cran Cran from the first game who drew us this little beauty. Where, where'd it go? Oh, it's not in this it's one? Not... Oh, there's usually a painting over here. Oh. Well, so this is Cran Cran. Uh, JPEG, could you walk us through Cran Cran's <laughs> dialogue? Yeah, this is why I'm here. <laughs> What's this? Is this a love dissertation? He's seven feet tall and has whippling wag muscles. <laughs> what a honk. <laughs> they s say a picture is worth a thousand words. Here, let me draw something. <laughs> it's been done. This will show them that this granny is down to clown. <laughs> Did you think you would be saying that s phrase today? <laughs> Dang. Um. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Uh, so Cran Cran gives us a drawing of her <laughs> and the pomegranate vampire. And so if you're already crying, is this a bad time to message to mention what gorillas falling down the stairs? <laughs> You're throwing that context. Just don't think about that because if you think about it, the funnier it's gonna get. Uh, so we we go back to the pomegranate, uh, who clearly perfectly depicted his seven-foot physique. Uh -huh. uh, and so now they're in love, and he gives us a candy ring. So mm -hmm. now we have a candy ring and a golden ring. Mm -hmm. Wherever could these rings be going? Uh, it's actually faster to go this way, I think. Mm -hmm. Also, who knows? Maybe they maybe he is seven feet. Vegetables have small feet. Mm -hmm. That's You know what? That's so true. It could be seven turnip it's feet. His, it's his roots. <gasps> oh, <laughs> like wait. Six wait, and a half feet is under the ground. Wait, that's a pomegranate, isn't <laughs> it? Well, yeah. you know. <laughs> yes, yes roots. it is. <laughs> okay. So um, I'm going to go back just so I don't have to deal with the cops. Uh, um, that ringing you heard is a mechanic that comes up quite a bit in the like casual playthrough where um, the cops... Uh, will come if you're in Dog. the bank for too long and then you get more and more stars and they get more dangerous as the stars go up. Kind of like the GTA um, heat meter or whatever it's called. I don't, I don't, I don't play GTA. Um, gosh. I play turnip GTA. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to go over here to our good friends from the first game, uh, the florist and strawberry. And we're the florist is like, look, I should have made a move earlier with strawberry. And you know the rules. The bigger the diamonds, the more I love them. Mm -hmm. So obviously I need the biggest rock. So we give them a ring with a big rock, and they give us their favorite rock. Trans rock! A trans rock! Yeah! <laughs> then we have to give the strawberry a golden ring because the strawberry also wants to propose. And once they both have their rings, we get a little proposal. Yeah, with the flag in the with background. With the little trans flag in the yeah. back. Oh, I have actually never noticed the flag back there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you run this. <laughs> I guess. We, do, we don't do this in the normal any percent run. <laughs> that, 
we so see we, that not? marriage no. percent. <laughs> We've had, you know, yeah, that was a marriage know. percent uh, <clears throat> world record in that it's the first time anyone's run marriage yeah. percent. <laughs> and it's <laughs> not a real category. Let's go. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Let's make it a real category. Yeah. So we blast off into space to steal the bank, and we're like, we did it. And then this appears, whatever this is. Um, it's a worm, you... question mark. Oh, no. We don't have something. Oh, we don't have any money. No. Oh, no. No. Oh, Where's Tangerine? We don't have the dog. We to be fair, we did bring the dog on the boss rush. We, yes. That is true. We, we did the what we said we rush. would do. We did not bring the dog to the wedding. <laughs> and you also didn't. You also didn't dodge the spear. I did not, and I have no money. Uh, normally, I would use the like money Gatling gun to clear this debris a little faster because it's a little easier. Um, but we have no money because I went back to avoid the cops. But whatever. Not pressed about it. All I need it's is my scythe nice. and this absolute banger of a song. Mm -hmm. yep. With my favorite line, turn up boy, kill the bad guys, get that bag, save the world. <laughs> is that what it's Thank saying? You. That's the game. That's my, <laughs> that's, that's my next tattoo, that's, thanks. That is what it's saying. <laughs> uh, I'll add that in script around my existing turn up boy tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think we have a quick moment for a donation here? Absolutely. Yeah. Here's five dollars from Selkuth Mind, who says, Hey, Happy, I really wanted to be there in person for your run, but since I can't, let me offer you some wisdom as a fellow roguelike runner. The RNG knows when you're on the GDQ stage, so in order to keep it working <laughs> in your favor, you need so to give true. it Canadian bagged milk. Oh. Not an ordinary oh. milk. RNG only drinks Canadian bagged milk. Mm. I also heard a certain turnip likes it, so give some to him, too. Best of luck with the run, and I will see you <laughs> soon, less than three. Love you. Thank you, Sel. I've heard this. All right, so we are coming up on time here. As we talk to that, um, we realize we can't possibly kill this thing. So Dilatini makes a brave sacrifice and crashes his bus, and that is time. Rip to a real one, Dilatini. Or right, remember you fondly. All mm -hmm. right. <laughs> really quick, um, shout outs and such. Uh, Carson did inform me that the credits are just a .txt that I can, and I quote, I don't know, do whatever you want with. <laughs> uh -oh. uh, so I promise I didn't do anything unhinged, Carson, but uh, just threw <laughs> shout outs in there. Um, shout outs, obviously, Wolfie and JPEG. Thank you for hanging on my couch and being generally fantastic friends and good people. Thank you, Carson, for agreeing to do this. Having dev commentary is so cool. I feel super yeah, lucky absolutely. to have you around. This is a lot of fun. Um, thank you, everyone hanging in the crowd and everyone watching online. Thanks, SGDQ. And. Uh, yeah, I super appreciate y'all. Um, well, these scrolls. <laughs> Couch, you got anything? It me. Look. Yeah, that's you. On, that's what you did. We're on the screen. That's, you. that's what we did. Yeah, thank you, Zenadir, for hosting. <laughs> thank you, Zenadir. You're the best. Stream Tech, uh, Valiant Sun's a really good friend and on Stream Tech right now. All of the tech is amazing. Uh, the Turnip Run, Turnip Boy Speedrun community, Rar, Scorch, Pi, Tom, everybody else who did run the game will run the game. Um, and if you want to run this game or pick it up, it's on sale right now, because Steam Summer Sale. Yep. It's 30% off for about 10.50, I think it was. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's a ton of content we didn't go through in this run, so uh, yeah. absolutely pick it up. It's worth a casual playthrough. And if you want to join Speedrunning Discord, it's the usual. Go to SRC, uh, speedrun.com, find us, click on the Discord link, and we'd be so stoked to teach some new people to run and get folks involved. 100%. So, yeah. Thank you again so much, uh, GDQ, for having us. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see some of you in the Turnip Boy Discord. Mm -hmm.